welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Okay, it is Wednesday, so it's Wednesday weight update. And if you haven't watched me before, I am doing a Jenny Craig program, and this is the end of the fourth week. So today I'm going to update you on my progress. I'm going to tell you my weight. And it was also measurement day. So every four weeks you measure your body, or your consultant measures your body, and you see if you've lost any centimeters. So I have, I've lost actually quite a lot, and I'm just going to update you on how I've been going. Um, if you watched me last week you know I was feeling just a bit crap really, just down in the dumps, not with my weight and my food or anything like that, I'm just really lacking energy and it's nothing to do with Jenny Craig, it's actually my thyroid, so if you do know me or you watch me regularly you know I have Hashimoto's disease which is a very very low, very underactive thyroid which I am medicated for but the fact that I'm feeling like this usually means that my thyroid has gotten worse, my level has gotten worse, so I'm so sluggish, I want to go to sleep. And it is 1.42 in the afternoon, I could quite happily lay on the bed now and have a nap. So I've just been finding I'm super unmotivated, not with the diet necessarily, just with everything. Like I've got a gajillion videos that I need to do for my YouTube channel. I've got loads of blog posts. I have got an absolute ton of stuff that I need to review for various companies. And I'm so far behind and I know I've got to do it. And I go to bed at night thinking, yay, I've got to do all this stuff. And I think of things to do and I think of how to do the videos. And then I wake up in the morning and think, oh my God, I'm so tired. I just can't be bothered. So I'm sort of waiting for this burst of energy that you get, you know, when you lose weight and people say, oh yeah, you get all this energy and it's just like, I'm losing weight and I'm losing it nicely. I've got no energy, that just hasn't happened. So I think that my thyroid has gotten worse, so I'm going to go and get some blood tests to check. I also have a very, very practically non-existent B12 level, which means I have to have B12 shots every three months for the rest of my life. So that contributes. So I've got to go and have all that checked out. But in terms of Jenny Craig last week, I still didn't eat all the food that I should have done. I was really struggling to eat the food. I'm just not hungry. I'm not deliberately skipping meals. I'm just finding I'm just not hungry. With those six meals, I can have a little bit of something and not eat the complete thing. So I really need to, I, I talked to, to Tammy, my consultant about this, and I just said, look, I am really struggling. So I'm gonna try and change more things within the right food groups so that I can get that intake, the calorie intake that I need, because I'm not gonna be able to, I mean, I can survive on what I'm eating, but it's not good. This is, a, as I said last week, this is a balanced diet, and I'm, I'm way under the calories that I should be because I'm picking here and there. But I'm drinking absolutely, probably, oh, I drink, now what is this? Look, here we go. This is what I'm drinking at the moment. A little plug for Aquapana Toscana water. It is, hmm, I'd say that's a litre. I actually can't see that it's, oh no, duh, one litre is right in the front. Okay, so I drink, I like two to three of them a day. And I really like that water. And I'm finding I'm really craving it still. So that's good. And my skin has evened out. I've had... A little blemish there which isn't normal for me and I'm 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 feeling like I'm losing my excess um like my skin feels like it needs a good exfoliation it feels like it's a bit grimy like all the crap that was coming out my skin is now at the surface and I feel like I need to exfoliate and it just bleh. but the overall texture of my skin is much better in the overall complexion like it's one mainly one color except for those huge bags which I really shouldn't do that because they just go bing <laughs> but that's just yeah that it is what it is so I, I as I said I don't wear makeup so that you can see these videos you can see how I'm progressing I'm starting to notice I'm getting a little bit of a um maybe a cheekbone <laughs> maybe one that side and that side so I am noticing difference what I was going to say is exercise so last week we were talking about what exercise you do and what you do that is in sort of incidental exercise that you don't really think is exercise, like you don't specifically go out and do a run or a walk or something. So I am continuing my walking. I'm still doing three, if I can, three days, trying to do about an hour's walking. I've also got the exercise bike. I'm still using very light weights. But the other thing I do is I run up and down the stairs all day long because my filming room is upstairs. My Everything else is kind of downstairs except my bedroom. So I'm up and down the stairs constantly filming. Um, the mailman will come, I'll have to run downstairs. And I probably do that about 50 times up and down all day long because I'm just 
all over the place. So that's one of the major things that I do and I'm finding running up and down the stairs is a lot easier than it was before when I first started doing the diet I was sort of uh, it's only 18 stairs it's not that big a deal but it is in sort of my incidental exercise and then when I go out to like a PR event if I'm walking around a lot or just walking down the street to the shops it's extra little bits of exercise that still count even though they're not necessarily massive amounts of exercise you're getting off your bum you're actually doing something so that's all um, little bits of thing, sort of a little bit of exercise as well as my scheduled exercises. So that's really good. Now this week, Tammy wants me to focus on eating everything on the menu. <laughs> and she watched my video last week and I'd said that I got to recording and I hadn't actually eaten anything. And she's like, oh, you're not supposed to do that. So I am, I am really going to try and focus on eating everything this week. And if I can't eat every single thing on the menu, I'm going to change the food around so that I can manage to eat it. So I'm, as I said, I'm eating in the relevant food groups, but eating everything that I should. So I get my calorie intake. Okay. So I am going to tell you what my, what, well, I'm not going to tell you what my weight is because I'm not gonna, just not going to tell you. It's a lot, but it's seven kilos down. So today I had lost 1.6 kilos, which brings my total weight loss in four weeks to exactly seven kilos. So that basically is a dress size down. So I've got everything written down here so I can tell you my measurements. And I was a size, well, technically I was a size 22 and I've dropped to a size 20, but realistically I could probably get into an 18, but I'm not at that, I'm not that comfortable with the bits that stick out still that I want to wear an 18. So I've, I'm, I'm at a 20, so we'll say that. So there's certain areas of your body that they measure and four weeks ago, um, my arms, my bust, my under bust, my waist, my abdomen and my hips and my thighs were measured. So weight measurement wise, the losses, uh, my arms, I didn't actually lose anything. So we measured around here, but I think that's probably because I'm doing weights. So I think I'm actually toning the fat into muscle. So I've got to watch that because my arms are big and I don't want to be Arnold Schwarzenegger, whatever his name is. Um, <laughs> So anyway, bust, I've lost 5.5 centimetres, so that's awesome because my boobs literally do have their own postcode and I have to buy bigger just so that my boobs fit in things, so I was really happy with that. Under my bust, I'd only lost 0.5 of a centimetre, and but then further down my waist, I've lost 6 centimetres, my abdomen, I've lost 6 centimetres, my hips, I've lost 5 centimetres, and my thighs, I've lost 4 centimetres, so that's a big loss, and I'm absolutely blown away I'm really really happy about that it's a bit like some some a big loss none of it's haven't lost anything like the under the bust is a bit concerning but um no it's, it's I'm really happy with everything that's really really great okay, so last Friday I think it was I went shopping online at Target because they had a sale on and I'm one of these people if I see something I like I buy multiples and I buy multiple colors just in case they don't have it anymore and I'm like oh I really liked that so there were three colors and I bought two of each color so I've got six tops and I tried them on this morning and I did buy a 22 so I had six size 22s and of course they're too big and I actually could hold the material at the back of the top, bunch it all up, and it didn't alter the front of the top. There was that much excess material. So my husband's just said, look, that is really too big. Let's see if we can swap them over. So I now have six of these. So they, I'll just show you what they're like. They're still, don't get me wrong, they're still big, but they're lovely. So it's just a really nice, very lightweight, thin top. And I'm not going to really be able to show you this. It's quite long, as you can see. So if you're one of these people like me that's concerned about your lower um stomach and your bits that stick out everywhere and you know you don't like to see your bum uncovered or your, your lower your lower abdomen uncovered these are perfect so I got this beautiful blue now these were also $25 down to 16 so of course that's why I bought six so I got the blue and I got a I didn't actually realize this was green I thought this was dark gray judging by the website but it is actually a very slight it doesn't really look green on there either but it's they're just really nice lightweight tops I know this isn't really doing them justice because they don't fit on the camera. But, and then I got a grey as well. So they're v-neck, they've got a pocket, they're very, very lightweight. So I now have six in a size 20. So I've gone down an entire clothing size. Now I love Target shoes and I have huge feet. I have a size 11, maybe a 10 and a half if I'm lucky. But I actually, that's another thing I should touch on. I've actually lost weight on my feet. I've got certain pairs of shoes that I couldn't get into four weeks ago. And I've lost a bit of obviously fat off my feet and now I have 
slimmer feet, but I'm still lengthwise, I'm still 11. But anyway, I bought these boots. Now, I did have the same last year, and they had these straps, but these straps didn't have the secured bit so that they were stuck on, like, the, so they're not, they weren't sewn onto the back of the boot, so the straps kept falling down here. So they've improved the design, and that's what they look like now, and I love these. They're sort of, I don't know what you call them, what does it say on the tag? Um, triple two boot. Anyway, they were 49 down to 39, I think. They had 20% off in the sale or something like that. So really like them. But the most important thing, that's just, you know, to perk me up, make me feel a bit better. I've lost a bit of weight, so I'm treating myself. Rather than buying food, I'm actually doing something useful and getting some clothes. But the other thing I got was a pair of runners. And obviously, you won't miss me. <laughs> now, these are a size, I think these are a size 10 and a half. Yeah, they're 10 and a half. I think they're also men's. I, I could have got the women's, but I liked these and I wanted to get the men's ones because they basically weigh nothing. These are so light. Now, I bought these from the uh, Uni Hill factory outlet in Victoria. They were $115 down from $160. And they are 10.5s. They're the Nike Free 5. So they're really good uh, pretty much for everything uh, and really good for walking so I'm trying to do a little bit more exercise and my runners were old and crappy so I thought I'd treat myself so super lightweight literally they're they're grams they don't weigh much at all so super happy with them so, okay so I think that's pretty much all I want to cover I am I should say that I'm super super happy with my consultant she is just lovely this is Tammy she has been so helpful and she's really understanding when I say I'm really struggling to eat the food or I'm feeling like absolute crap she's she's really sort of that's you know that's that's a bad thing how what can we do you know I'm sorry you're feeling like that how can we how can we get you out of that it's really nice to be able to talk to her and say look is there anything I can do food wise and and she's been really really helpful so it's been really positive I've had a really positive experience every time I've seen my consultant I've gone to weigh in and Easter is coming up. We've got Easter here, and I'm assuming everywhere else in the world that celebrates Easter, duh. Um, so that's this weekend. So there is going to be a family event, which is it's just an afternoon tea with my family. So I can have something if I want, or I can choose to just stick to my, um, my regular food. Like there might be like an Easter egg that might be snuck in there somewhere, but I'll let you know about that next week. I am going to try and be positive and peppy and find some energy from somewhere. And I, th I really think that's all I need to tell you. If I've forgotten anything, I will pop it on the blog. The link to the blog is in the description bar of the video. So I'm going to leave it there because I think I talked a lot this time. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you've got any comments or questions for me, pop them in the comments bar. Thumbs up if you like the video. As I say every week, I'll link Jenny Craig in the description bar anything that you need to know and guys if you haven't subscribed to my video please hit uh, my channel sorry please hit the button I really appreciate your support and all my other social media links are in the description bar and if you'd like to support me that would be great I will see you next Wednesday and thank you very much for watching bye